we're going to start analyzing the NQ price action and supply and demand levels on a day in and day out basis. So if you guys watched my video from yesterday, you guys understood that, you know, in order for a stock to move higher, we need to take out the previous day's high. In order for the stock to move lower, we need to take out the previous day's low. Everything else in between is just moves up and down. There's a big, big difference. Start understanding it. Start realizing that. So what we're looking at here is the NQ five minute time frame. Now you're going to see a couple of supply and demand zones on my chart. The first top line being yesterday's high price, 15,900. You're going to see yesterday's low price at around 15,800. You're going to see the price that we put in in the pre-market <clears throat> sitting here at around 15,756. Now you're also going to see one more dotted line here. This is where the market kind of opened up today. This is the pre-market high. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can see this price action a little bit more closely. And I'm actually going to start this price action from around six o'clock in the morning, just so it's nice, big and visible on the screen. So you can see here at the market open, we kind of chop around sideways, rejecting yesterday's low price multiple times, multiple times, multiple times. Although we are trading above the 20 SMA, you know, we still need to kind of break back into that range or break below that range to kind of see where potentially price can be heading. Now, if you look at this big red engulfing candle that happened here at seven o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time at around 710 exactly, you'll see a big engulfing candlestick that came all the way down to the pre-market lows on the NQ. Now, if you're an aggressive scalper and you're looking to take that setup, for one, it is valid because we are below the previous day's low. We are taking out the pre-market lows as well as being traded under the 20 period moving average. You would be looking for the 7.15 a.m. Uh, candle to kind of confirm firm this low price here and then you're going to want to scalp and take profits on the way down now again how to avoid getting trapped out of this on the reversal is very very simple you need to have a trading plan intact and you need to kind of understand what is the atr of the nq how many handles how many points are you looking to get are you looking to take 10 handles 15 20 let's kind of do the math here and see it goes from a price of 15 750 you would and then that's where you would try to be getting in at as close to that price as possible when we break the low wick and then we go all the way down to a price of 15728. So you can see this is about a 20 to 25 point move in a matter of four or five minutes. Now, again, I recommend everyone when you're trying to scalp, you know, try to take 10 points, take 15 points, take 20 points. Do that consistently, do that on a regular basis. Start to pad and cushion your accounts, whether you're trading a personal account or you're trading a funded account. Again, don't try to hit these home runs where you're trying to snag, you know, 100 points off the NQ each and every single day. You're going to drive yourself absolutely crazy. Take 10, take 15, take 20. Start to feel, you know, start to learn to how that feels. You know, you know, are you feeling, you know, anxious? Do you feel like it, it, you're sitting in it too long. Do you feel like, you know, maybe you're giving back too many profits because you're trying to take 30 points at a time, right? Not every trade is going to be 30, 40, 50 points. Not every trade is going to be, you know, a stop out. Not every trade is going to be perfect. So you got to kind of find that middle ground and find that sweet spot, you know, obviously protecting yourself with any stop over the 20 SMA and or the one bar stop with um, this particular play here. Now, Here's how to kind of navigate when these one bar stops are extremely, extremely large. Let's say, for example, you're oversized, which again, I'm going to recommend to everyone. And I keep saying this, guys, please trade one, two, three micro contracts. There's no reason to trade minis, especially if you're on a funding account. You know, there's no reason to to try to oversize yourself. There's no reason to go for those thousand dollar trades. Stack up a hundred dollar win here. Stack up two hundred dollar wins there. Call it a day. Do that over and over and over. That's going to start to compound over a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month. You know, two months, a quarter, so forth and so forth. Now let's just kind of get back into the charts here. When we put in this initial low here, I'm hoping you took some some points out here. You know, 10, 15, 20 handles. You know, kind of clean up that position, and then we now need to sit and wait. Do we break back into the pre-market level here? Because if you're looking for that, then you would use the low as a stop. And as soon as we break back into the pre-market level, what you want to see is green. Okay. You want to see green take out red. That would be your entry candle here. Your hard stop would be there. And you're going to ride this back into whatever supply zone you have. 
In this case here, it would be yesterday's lows. If we break that and we kind of chop around, you'd be looking to take profits into the pre-market highs here. So again, that's a little bit of a trade there, again, for more experienced traders. The next trade that we would really be looking for here is when we get back over the 20 SMA and we break into previous day's lows. Now that we've done that on this candlestick here, what we wanna see is the high price be put in. Here's our one bar stop. I don't like that line, I'm kinda of OCD. I want my lines to be straight. Here's our pivot. Here's the candle that would be our reason why. And here is our one bar stop. We would be putting money into this candle here. And as long as we hold this level and make that push up into the pre-market highs, we want to be taking profits on the way up. Now, again, 10, 15, 20, 25 points, whatever you can manage to scrape off this trade here is what you want to do. Again, realize that we have resistance there here and then now we're finally this late in the day starting to test this resistance to see if we can kind of break through that but again that's how you would play that trade so once we get up to this level here and you can kind of see that we've been rejecting there's not really any trade until we start losing the day's lows or we start breaking out of the range so all of these other trades that you're going to see in the meantime they're kind of you know scalps they're lower probability trades again i mean like like for every trade that fails like this one you know this one might work for a little bit of points you know for every trade that fails like this one you might get one that works right so it's like even if you took every single trade you lost you won you lost you won you know so it's like the lower probability setups you're going to get are going to come later in the day and when we can't seem to break out over these specific levels you know pre-market highs and previous day high and then the, the lows right so that's one thing that you kind of need to focus on again like i said start to identify when the days are choppy when the days are rangy you can obviously see price action on the five minute time frame is going sideways again we did not really break out above yesterday's highs we're still kind of trading with inside yesterday's range so we're looking at a day two inside bar day now again don't get frustrated because once we do break out to the top side or we break down we're going to get a hell of a move and you guys all need to be ready for that hell of a move and be able to make sure you guys are capitalizing but if you guys are going to blow up your accounts and over trade and lose tons and tons of money just trying to force trades for the sake of forcing trades on days like today and yesterday you're going to get yourselves hurt so again do not get yourselves hurt be patient wait for this to happen because when it happens it's going to be beautiful if you guys like this you guys want to trade with me and you got to want to get access to the rest of my strategies and trade with the team access to the intraday technicals you guys think I make a lot of YouTube videos? Wait till you see the Discord and everything and all the work that I'm putting in and the one-on-one -on -one coaching I'm doing with everyone in there. You know, it, it's a lot of stuff that goes on in there. And I'll see you guys all on the inside.